All right, moving on to our last team, a team that I think shocked the league by being ahead of schedule in their rebuild, finishing over 500, the Baltimore Orioles. Let's start talking about the big moves they made this offseason. Well, Alex, this is where it gets a little disappointing. Okay. They didn't, really. Mm -hmm. Kyle Gibson brought him in as a pitcher. Adam Frazier, who, since he's been on the Pirates, has not been that same. He was leading the leading the National League in hits when he was with the Pirates, then goes to the Padres and goes from a leadoff guy with a lot of potential for the, that Padres lineup to batting ninth to really not playing much to then playing in Seattle and not having a good year. Now he's off to the Orioles, so my level of excitement there isn't as high as it would have been you yeah. know, where it was with the Padres when they first got him where he appeared great. James McCann, catcher, veteran guy behind the plate, always useful for a young staff. Yep. Losses. Really none. I threw in Rufnet Odor on here because I don't really know why. I mean, right. not really super notable, but everybody awesome. knows the name. And yeah. he's not afraid to throw a punch or two every now and then. So, you know, notable in case your team gets in a brawl. <laughs> you don't have Rufnet Odor. It's big. All right. Now, Baltimore's got a lot of young talent on this team. Who is your hitter to watch this year? I... I have a love-hate relationship with this Orioles team, okay. and we'll get more to it after we get through this and because division preview and predictions is next. I'll yeah. talk all about them. Love-hate relationship. Big-time love for this guy, Adley Rutschman, mm -hmm. the catcher that came up and legitimately was the cause. You can point to the day of when Adley came up and when the Orioles season turned around, and that's not a coincidence. Adley was the top prospect in the game of baseball. We had heard about him for a long time coming out of Oregon State. Is he going to be the guy that we all think he could be? The answer was yes. 254 last year, 13 homers in very limited time. We're going to get 162, hopefully, of Adley. Well, no catcher plays 162, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> A full season of Adley Rutschman, and I could not be more excited to watch him. All right, who's your pitcher to watch for the Orioles? Again. A lot of love here for this guy, Grayson Rodriguez. I think he comes up, and I think he makes a huge difference for this team. This Orioles team has needed pitching. Grayson Rodriguez has been a prospect for a couple of years, a, a well-known prospect. And I think, you know, this is a guy that could have been my breakout player because yeah. we haven't seen him. Okay, We're going to see him this year. But that's how important I think he is to this rotation because I look at this Orioles team and say, when was the last time this team had an ace? Legitimately. Uh -huh. Think about it. When was the last time the Baltimore Orioles had a dominant ace? Well, I think Grayson Rodriguez can ultimately and eventually be that guy, and I am so excited to watch him be a part of that rotation. Now, the Orioles had a lot of breakout players last year. You just mentioned a couple of them, but who are you keeping an eye on this season? Gunnar Henderson. Gunnar Henderson, last year Glorious. we saw him come up and make his debut. Um, this is his technical and official rookie season, so okay. he is in line to be able to win rookie of the year. We saw him in his first at bat as a major leaguer, hit a home run, the helmet popped off, the flow, the beautiful flow of his magical. hair. It was a magical it was moment magical. capped off by magical hair. Yep. And I think this year he breaks out. Going to play on the left side of the infield for this Orioles team. A little bit of shortstop, a little bit of third base. He's a star in the making, and he is uh, hes going to be exciting. He is. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.